But Sky has been a ascending player as of late with this Joker, one of the few solo Joker mains that is kind of left in uh, in Tri-State. Trying to make the most of it in a matchup that can be hard on both sides. Yeah, uh, looks back to uh, Evo. The, oh, only, yeah. <laughs> the only Evo. <laughs> I keep saying it. We're back in 2019 format sometimes, guys. <laughs> a lot of Palus, a lot of Snakes, and we got Joker PT on PS2. But this is this is Joker PT in a little bit of a different environment where as Quid plays a lot of Squirtle and plays a lot of Ivysaur, which is, uh, I mean, it goes in the Twitter handle, uh, Quid Ivysaur. But the Squirtle is going to need to make a bunch of solid plays here, like this. And you're dead. Yep. <laughs> Getting the jab lock. Squirtle forward tilt Quid. is a crime. Only at 45 right now. <laughs> <laughs> and this guy definitely need to be able to uh, push his way back, but you know, Quid just doing Squirtle things, just keeping this pressure going and keeping these hits going, as Sky is going to have a lot of trouble getting no these hits on <laughs> on Squirtle. Quid going to the Ivysaur, the Ivysaur, as you will. Uh, and now Sky going to be able to get the down air into the up smash to be able to get that confirmed. He still has more Arsene on deck, about 50%, but Quid uh, <laughs> using the uh, Squirtle to great advantage to be able to get most of that Arsene out of here with one back air and one little hit to be able to get it out. And, you know, keeping more advantage going, 92%, not bad at all. And the hard part about it is that Squirtle is just so difficult to find hits on, and even more difficult to find hits that matter. Uh, I like the... Uh, Grabs are going to be, of course, extremely important to Joker's game plan because they set up for those combos, especially on platforms like this, and kind of force you off Squirtle early. And once you get the opponent to Ivysaur, then it becomes, then you can rely much more on Joker's innate mobility and zoning around the much slower, easier to hit character. But Quid does it all with this Ivysaur. And, oh, okay. Okay, doesn't, they're both yeah. going to be doesn't need to switch over to the Charizard, and that's probably the worst case scenario for Sky. Not only are you too deep, but you also don't force out the SD and don't force out the Charizard early, which means this Ivysaur is here to stay, but as f how far can you make it going for double back air? But Quid keeps on living and keeps on finding their ways and keeps on narrowing off of ledge also. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a very hard uh, uh, move to deal with. And also, even uh, if you really punish it, he, Sky hasn't really been getting too much off these stray hits. And even then, like the stray hits that he's been getting have been quickly reversaled as Quid has just been, you know, really good at either keeping the pressure going or blanking. Yeah, it's. It's kind of hard to challenge this Joker. It's not impossible as oh, that we see. Yeah, Razor Leaf to up air combo. Like, I like. As much as that combo was solid, like you find a tech chase on a platform, misses the tech, easy combo, one, two, three, that's a dead Joker. Uh, as Joker is a fairly strong character, uh, e very easy character to hit multiple times once you land that first one. It's the problem of landing the first one. But I want to point out the ledge play that Quid was doing because it is one of the more smaller advantages a lot of characters can take against Joker where he doesn't really have a lot of moves that can reliably connect on ledge hang. It's basically just down tilt and things like down air, which down air you can see coming and down tilt you need to be in an appropriate position for it to hit you know, to begin with. And on certain ledge hangs, you can also connect down smash, but again, you're finding that positioning and Ivysaur is already sitting there uh, vine whipping. So shout out to Quid for just taking advantage of that. You know that you know that Sky is basically just going to be waiting for you to get off ledge more times than not. And, that's all, and when you can take that time and take that time to collect yourself, you can take the time to find your starters and to reconsider a game plan. And that game plan kind of starts with Squirtle. Yeah, and the Sky right now is having the roughest time trying to even make it back, as well as even get a hit in only 8%, as well as, you know, basically having run out of Arsene at this point with 
129%, which is something you do not want to have, especially when you're uh, going up against Quid. Right now, maybe be able to get the Gimp. Nope, he's gonna be uh, Gimping himself. Tragic. Oh, he had a solid edge guard in a position where he was forced onto Charizard and had to use Charizard's second jump. One back air could have been a dead stock, but just misses that tech and just misses such a huge opportunity to make something happen. And These now you're our send off stage. These two frames. Again. These two frames. One more for the culture. Oh, goes uh. high. Oh, no, okay. going to be able to get the tech this time, so not going to be uh, F smashed into oblivion. No edge guard either. It's very, very difficult to edge guard uh, PT, especially Ivy with that tether recovery. Oh, and the edge guarding goes both ways. Joker has to recover, and his tether snaps in a much smaller radius than a lot of other tethers. And you can, while it does have a lot of reach, you know some of the precise angles, and Ivy Sword Neutral Air just covers all of that space. You gotta work around that with using very clever air dodge and gunplay, which we haven't really seen Sky use. It's been very minimal use of gun movement and mostly just using it to stall. Yeah, and they're having such a hard time just securing the stock right now. Looking like a three stock, but the counter gonna be able to come out, not gonna be able to get the kill. Yeah, no, not gonna be able to get the kill off of it as uh, Quid just gonna be able to come back and just kinda work more at chipping away this Arsene. Gonna get dash attacked, but not gonna get killed off of it. And we're working to get back to stage. Not gonna get him with uh, the Vine Whip, but is going to hit him off stage with it, but not gonna be able to get the Vine Whip there either. Uh, Non-Joker back air doesn't kill him off stage at 160. Charizard is just that heavy. Center stage at 170, not gonna do it. Oh, I think he had a forward air there. Instead goes for down air, but the Either way, that's not going to close out either. Now you got to look oh, out for that Charizard. Was, that oh. was a weird visual glitch. What was <laughs> Okay. Arsene makes things happen sometimes. <laughs> Arsene <laughs> appeared at the wrong spot. He's like, oh, oh my bad. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can I come in here? Yeah. <laughs> Are we doing it? All right. Now it's uh, Quid going to be able to uh, get him off stage. Sky also going to be able to get that stock. So right now it's up to Quid to get this edge guard. Not going to be able to at this point on the Squirtle right now. So hopefully he's going to be able to uh, secure this either with like a jab lock or just uh, getting a raw edge guard. But it looks That's like he's <laughs> looks like he's having a little bit of trouble right now trying to uh, you know get get the hidden that he needs as the down tilt is going to be di'd up, but the up air not going to be di'd well enough as. Quid is going to be able to take game two. Some, one of the hardest things about Joker when it comes to playing uh, playing a good, uh, an obviously good character, like Joker, top tier, for sure. No one's questioning that. But you can see where some of the difficulties lie in if you're Arsene. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if you're Arsene, if you're, if right you're Arsene is just like, <laughs> is a little bit off today. <laughs> He didn't get his coffee, guys. It's fine. <laughs> At 7 p.m. It's okay. <laughs> but he, like, if your Arsens aren't landing those meaningful hits, then suddenly your opponents can start living until major percents. If you're not able to play as evasively as you need to, suddenly you're taking a lot of damage. And in turn, your Arsens are getting mitigated in uh, because of that. It's a weird line that you have to consistently play on. And if you don't find that consistency, then Joker can feel like a little bit less than almost what he really needs to. Top five character, not trying to say <laughs> otherwise, but he can be surprisingly difficult, especially when your opponent knows proper counterplay. Oh yeah, and just in general, getting getting hits on smaller characters is gonna be really difficult, as well as just getting the kill confirm on those smaller characters, especially because, you know, with fair one being, you know, a more of a upper ended, uh, higher move, in yeah. terms of like where it hits, uh, it's going to be very difficult to even get the fair one into the up smash into the confirms you need.